I'm going to uh, start my um, update using the USB, um, micro USB um, card. Uh, I'm going to start by formatting the disk uh, to make sure everything is, is good there. So I'm going to format and FAT32 default, which is okay according to the website. Formatting will erase everything, yes. Format complete, okay. Okay, so now I'm going to lose this. Open downloads where I downloaded the the newest or the second newest uh clear everything out of here and redo this so here you see is the, the file that I'm gonna use right here I'm gonna unzip it using unzip okay that gives me the PDF of how to do it I've already printed that off and here here's the file here so I'm just gonna copy to and I'm going to find uh, here I'm going to change that to that drive, which is F drive. Um, oh, F, just F. Click OK. Downloading. Okay, it's finished downloading. Uh, I'm just going to show you here what's in the file. Um, Okay, there it is. That's the only thing in there. There's not a DCMI, IM folder or anything. There, there it is. For some reason, it shows up as a media file. Uh, it has that little VLC tag there. Uh, you notice uh, it doesn't have the dot bin at the end. And I've tried both, uh, trying to upload it like this and renaming it and calling it dot bin at the end. But as you see, if you look at the properties, um, Oh yeah, you can see it shows as a media file, but it's a dot bin. It does say it's a dot bin file, so the extension is dot bin. So it should be fine. Um, I used this exact same to update the, the flight controller over here. The flight controller was perfect. Uh, it, it, it ran through the uh, update. I took the SD card out, looked at the SD card, and it said update successful in the text file, just like it says on the video. So next I'll try to insert this into um, the RC controller. Okay, I'm gonna safely eject. Um, eject USB removal, eject the USB storage. And it's ready, ready to be ejected. Okay, so take that out. Insert that into the controller. Okay, as you can see, I've inserted it into the controller. Uh, incidentally, I have this this other <laughs> Star. I'm a Star Wars fan, but you can see I've, I've tried this USB stick. It actually, when I when I plug it in and I turn everything on, there's actually a little light that shows up if it's in you know inserted properly and. And it, it the light goes on when I when I have the controller on. So I've tried this is this this is now the second time second uh, uh, stick I've used. Uh, turn on the controller. Okay, and I'll wait a minute. I won't make you wait through that, but I'll pause it. Okay, this has been well over a minute. Um, there's no blue light. There's nothing. Um, I've tried turning off the controller. As you can see, I have full power. Um, I thought that might have been my issue earlier. I maybe had less than 50% and it wouldn't commit to a uh, an update unless it was above 50%. So, as you can see, I cannot do anything there. 
uh, pull it out. If I leave this long enough, um, three or four or five minutes, it will start beeping just because I think it's realizing that there's no connection to um, a flight controller or anything else and it's just basically beeping to let you know that it's uh, been left on. Now that's it. I, I, pull, I, I turn this off now. I can leave it. I've tried leaving it for five minutes and uh, trying to redo it. Nothing. I've done this about a half a dozen times now. Um, I can pull this out and uh, connect it and check the file again. Okay, I've reinserted the USB um, thing with the micro SD card just to see if there's a text file to see if it's failed, aborted, whatever. It hasn't even got to the point where it, it, it's trying to update. So right at this point, I mean, I've tried the other option too, which of course is put the SD card in there, attach everything, power up things in order, which I think you, if I remember correctly from the video, I followed the video step by step, pausing all, all the way along. I believe you turn the flight controller on first, and then you turn on the um, the remote control controller, and you wait. And I waited. You know what? I just waited 25 minutes, even though I could clearly see there was no change in the color of the. Uh, uh, on on here and the beeping wasn't what they described in the uh, video I let it go for 25 minutes just to see and nothing and uh, so the flight controller shows up on uh, DJI app uh, pilot DJI pilot that shows that the flight controller is up to date but that the remote control uh, RC uh, is not up to date uh, resulting in lost uh, connection after a time from from the camera but the control the controls do work uh, I tried booting up the uh, the motors there and uh, they worked um, I haven't put any propellers on it yet and I don't want to fly it this is just came out of the box uh, I'm used to these things, uh, and I'm sure it'll fly just fine, but uh, I'll lose uh, signal, for, and uh, yeah, so I think I have a faulty USB port. Um, the only other thing I haven't tried yet is maybe trying with that micro USB, um, and I'll see if I can find a, a female-female adapter so that I can uh, try that.